What's up guys, this is The Network back with another video and today we are talking about the advanced privacy stack to build files safely. This is one of the most important topics inside the entire credit building process because everything you do online leaves a fingerprint and that fingerprint can be traced, linked, or matched if you don't build your setup properly. So in this video we're going to break down exactly how to use VPN software, residential proxies, and multi-login to isolate each profile and create clean separation between everything you build. Now this isn't just about privacy, it's about control. Because when you control your digital environment, you control your consistency, you control your results, and you avoid triggering all the systems that track data across devices and networks. So let's start from the beginning. When we say privacy stack, we're talking about layering multiple tools together to make every profile act like its own individual system. The foundation of that is your VPN. That's your first shield. You always want to start with a reputable VPN provider like Surfshark Nord, Proton, or any that have proven logs policies, meaning they don't track your sessions or store your data. A VPN reroutes your connection through another server somewhere else in the world, which hides your real IP and replaces it with one from that location. But here's the key. You can't just turn on a VPN and think you're safe. Most people make that mistake. You need to verify it's actually working. Go to ifconfig.co or ipinfo.io and check that your displayed location matches the VPN server if you connect to Miami and it still shows New York. That means it's not actually tunneling properly. Always test before you open multi-login or log into anything. Next, let's talk about proxies. This is where most people mess up because they don't understand the difference between residential and data center proxies. Residential proxies come from real internet service providers from real homes. That's why they look natural to verification systems. Data center proxies come from big server farms, and they're easy to detect by major websites. So for this purpose, always use residential proxies. They cost a little more, but they perform way better, especially when you're logging into platforms that care about consistency like email verifications or credit platforms. Now inside your proxy provider dashboard, you'll see things like rotation mode, sticky session, or randomized. Sticky means it keeps the same IP during that session, and that's perfect for logins because the system expects to see the same IP when you come back. Randomize rotates your IP every few minutes, which is better for quick checks, but terrible for logins because it looks like you're teleporting across the world. And here's where the structure starts to matter. You want to match the location of your proxy and your VPN to the same region. So if you're building a profile based on Florida, your VPN should connect through Miami, and your proxy should also be pulled from that same region because everything about your digital footprint should make sense together. That's how you keep recognition speed high and avoid inconsistencies. Now, once you've selected the right proxy, make sure to save the host port username, password, and city into an encrypted vault. You should never store these in notes or screenshots. Use something like Bitwarden or a password manager with encryption so you can track every credential safely because one leak can connect everything you've ever done. The next piece of the privacy stack is multi-login, and this is where the magic really happens. Multi-login lets you create separate browser profiles that each act like their own virtual computer. That means each profile has its own cookies, fingerprints, screen size, fonts, and web gel settings. So websites think they're completely different users. You start by going to app.multilogin.com, create your account, download the multi-login agent, and install it. Once the agent is running, connect it to the dashboard. If it fails, restart it and check your firewall or antivirus because... Sometimes those block the connection when you create a new profile and multi-login, choose the browser template you want to emulate. It could be Chrome, Firefox, or another preset set, your time zone language and screen resolution to match the location of the proxy you're using. Then enter your proxy credentials, host, port, username, and password, and run a test to make sure it connects if the IP check doesn't match the proxy's country fix that before moving forward. When you launch that profile, multi-login opens a controlled browser window that is completely isolated from your real browser, you can check your IP again using ifconfig.co to confirm it's showing the proxy address and not your real one from this point on. Every action you take inside that profile stays contained. If you log into a test account, the cookies, the local storage, and the history stay locked inside that one profile. It's like having 100 different laptops without actually owning 100 devices. This is the safest way to build and manage files because it keeps everything clean, separate, and independent. Now let's talk about stacking VPN proxy and multi-login together. This is the highest level of privacy when you connect your VPN first, your base connection gets masked. When you add your proxy inside multi-login, it creates another tunnel inside that tunnel, so your real IP is never seen at all. But the trick here is order and compatibility. If you start the VPN first and multi-login fails to connect, disconnect the VPN, start multi-login, then reconnect once the profiles are live. This ensures everything links properly. Some VPNs block local agents from connecting. So record your results and test different sequences until you find what works best for your setup. Remember, every environment is slightly different, so documentation matters. Keep logs of every test, every IP, every success, and every failure. That's how you build a real system that you can duplicate and teach later. Throughout the day, you'll develop a routine that becomes second nature. 
Start your session by connecting your VPN. Verify the IP, open multi-log and confirm your agent is connected. Select your profile launch. It verify the proxy IP, take a screenshot for your audit log and begin your tasks when you're done for the day log out of all accounts. Close the profile, stop background services and store all screenshots and logs in a secure folder. That way, if anything ever gets questioned or you need to review a setup, you have full proof of what was done. And this is something most people never think about, but documentation isn't just for safety, it's for scalability because if you plan to build a team or teach the system later, those logs become your playbook. They show exactly how each environment was built and verified. So when someone new joins your operation, you don't have to explain everything from memory. You can just hand them the proof and they can copy the workflow step by step. That's what separates a real organized operation from people just winging it online. Let's also talk about troubleshooting because when you run this kind of setup long term, you will run into issues. If your agent doesn't connect, restart the agent and the computer and check your privacy settings on Mac or your firewall on Windows. If your proxy test fails, make sure your credentials are correct and the proxy order is active. If your profile shows the wrong IP, relaunch it and check that your agent is running. And if a site starts blocking or rate limiting your requests, switch to a different proxy city or increase your session. Stickiness, small changes like that make a big difference in how smooth your operation runs. Now, a quick note for mobile users, because this question always comes up, mobile devices can't run full multi-login profiles. You can still use a VPN for device-wide privacy but you won't get fingerprint control. The only real way to use multi-login on mobile is to connect remotely to a desktop or VPs that's already running it. So you control everything from your phone, but the work is happening on a desktop. That's what most professionals do when they need to check on something fast while traveling. Security should always be your top priority store. All credentials in an encrypted vault and only give access to people who actually need it. Never share passwords through chat. Always use secure document signing if you ever manage accounts that belong to someone else. Keep a signed consent file and store it in your vault that protects you and shows you. Operate with structure. Make audit logs that include timestamps, screenshots, and a short note of what was done. Keep those logs immutable, meaning once you write them, you don't edit them because that's your track record. And here's the part that ties it all together. This whole system isn't just about privacy. It's about building discipline. It forces you to think like an architect instead of a user. Every profile becomes a controlled experiment, every setup gets documented, and every environment has its own fingerprint that can be tested and optimized. The more organized you become, the easier it gets to scale because you're not rebuilding from scratch every time you're cloning precision and structure. So whether you're managing a single profile or 100 profiles, the process stays the same. That's what the network teaches structure that actually scales. So if you made it this far, you already understand why this privacy stack is so powerful. It protects your operation, keeps every file clean and gives you the foundation to build long-term safely without red flags or data overlap. And if you want to learn the full breakdown of how we apply this stack across different systems, join the network on Discord. That's where you can ask questions directly. Telegram is no longer reliable. And for daily updates, follow on Instagram at the network link. And if you really want to go deeper, join the Patreon. It's only $50 per month right now. And anyone who joins at that price is locked in for life. Every single YouTube video we post has a full detailed method attached inside Patreon so you can follow along step-by-step step and build your system with precision.